Hi, my name is Claire. And I'm Nathan. And good morning, Gold Coast. From Sunset Bar and Grill. Good morning, Gold Coast. It's Cam. Obviously out here on Broad Beach because the kids have gone back to school, so we've got the beach all to ourselves. How was your long weekend though? Did you get up to much? There was certainly plenty of stuff to do around town, that's for sure. And of course our cousins across the border in Tweed Heads have had to do that whole daylight saving thingamabob, so they've gone forward in time or backward in time or something. Either way, they're no longer in the same time zone as us, so have fun with that. Of course, because we're a Facebook show here on the Gold Coast, remember to like, comment and share. Modern world, that's how you show you care. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. I liked your post on Facebook. In fact, I went all out this year. I shared it with my friends. But right now it's time to check out today's news. Doing the news on the beach, I love it. An engagement party on Saturday in Upper Coomera took a turn for the worse when the groom-to-be and his brother had a massive argument. Police reckon the groom-to-be tried to stop his brother from leaving by standing in front of his car. Very bad idea. Big brother accelerated, knocked him over and drove off. And the little brother ended up in hospital with some serious internal injuries and fractures to his arm and his leg, while the big brother ended up in court. Also up in Coomera, police had to attend another domestic dispute. What was in the water in Coomera this weekend. What was happening? Some guy had allegedly stolen a mobile phone from a home. And when the police got there, they could hear him yelling his head off in some nearby bushland. So they unleashed the police dog to get him. Sick him, Fido. I'm sure it was a little bit more dramatic than that. And it turns out this angry man also had a pooch which attacked the police dog. The cops used capsicum spray on the attacking dog. That actually didn't work, so they had to pull out their guns. And for the sake of the kids watching, let's just say that the bad dog went to doggy heaven. As you can see from these photos here, the police dog didn't quite get off unscathed, he did see a vet, and uh, he is okay, while the bad guy involved in this domestic dispute phone stealing thing is heading to court later this month. And every year in October, Warner Brothers Movie World has their Fright Nights event. I went to their launch on Saturday. This is Fright Night, what do you reckon? Awesome, eh? It's pretty awesome, it's pretty freaky, and it's pretty scary. People need to be here every Friday night, every Saturday night of the month of October. There's heaps of mazes, roller coaster rides, and we got foods, treats, and tons of entertainment, singing and dancing in the beginning and in the end. So it's a party and a party all night long. And I actually went through two of the four mazes. The first one based on The Conjuring 2, absolutely terrifying. The second one based on Wormwood, which is like a zombie thingy. I should probably get up to date with pop culture, shouldn't I? Hmm. But it's a great event, especially to go to with friends, and it's on every Friday and Saturday night all throughout October. Right, it's time to see what you can do around town today, but first, meet Stephen Keary. Good morning, Gold Coast. Coast. Just Fantastic. here on holiday? Yeah, just for Escaping days. the rain from Auckland. Oh, really? Is it raining over there? It's always raining over there. Like London, huh? No, not as bad as London. So how was yesterday then here? It was... Like Auckland. <laughs> it's like, like Auckland. Auckland. <laughs> and what do you guys do back in Auckland? I'm in marketing. I actually used to work for Billabong, so you know, hi Billabong! Hey! That's a product plug. Oh no, that's <laughs> completely. <laughs> well look, have a great holiday while you're here. Okay, right, thanks, thanks. So Thank you very much. Yeah. The incredible talents of 80 local secondary school kids is on show at the Gold Coast Gallery, which is at the Art Centre Gold Coast coast up until the end of this month and these artworks go into some pretty deep topics like body image sexism depression spirituality some of the things that even adults shy away from most of the time it's a free exhibition so you can't even say that the cost is putting you off from checking out what these incredible kids are capable of doing and of course if you want more details just click on the link in this post and we all need fresh food which is why we really have to support our farmers and these drought angels raise money for the farmers who are doing it tough because they've essentially lost all their livelihood from the drought they've got sand on their property but it ain't a beach so today from 12 until 4 p.m. the Southport School is raising money in an appeal. They'll have a spit roast lunch and performers like Lee Kernigan, Xavier Rudd and Robbie X. Tickets are just $50 a person or $150 a family and you can get them by following the link in this post. Also you might have heard of the charity Oz Harvest. OZ Harvest. Oz Harvest. These guys collect excess food from supermarkets, cafes and restaurants and then donate it to charity. It's a brilliant idea to feed the people in need in our community. Well in about two weeks Oz Harvest is holding a party in paradise to raise money for their work and every ticket sold actually helps them to deliver 100 meals. The event's going to be held at Pepper's Soul in Surfers Paradise and tickets are limited so if you want to get them, get them now using the link in this post. Time to check out the weather, woo! A sunny day expected on the Gold Coast with some light winds, a top of 26 and getting down to 14. And looking ahead to the next couple of days, sunny on Wednesday and Thursday. Perfect weather for this. That is the show, remember to like, comment and share because here you guys are. And you know the deal, if you've shared it and your settings are set to private, you won't be up there but if it's public, you are. Facebook rules, not mine. It's Tuesday, it's a short a working week so already we've started on a good note I'm gonna leave you with some shots of Fright Night and see you tomorrow